Do you like women who can hold their own and don't need no man? If so, learning how to approach a strong, independent woman is going to get you what you want. Keep watching to learn how to meet and approach the strong, independent woman of your dreams. I'm Eddie Baller, and I'm the owner of ConqueringWin.com, and I've been coaching men since 2011 to build their confidence and meet the kind of woman they want. And I know what works from thousands of personal experiences, as well as watch my clients in field, regardless of their height, age, race, looks, or financial status. So let's jump into it. How to approach a strong, independent woman. The basic steps for approaching any woman, strong, independent or not, can be found in the link in the description. That's gonna give you exact details on how to approach any woman. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what you need to do to build your confidence though, to approach a strong, independent woman, because if you're searching for this kind of answer, it's really probably something comes back to you, how you feel about yourself. And that depends who you are as a man. It's whoever you are as a man, the confidence you feel, the uh, your personal identity, that's gonna be projected to anybody you speak to. So if you're speaking to, or you want a strong, independent woman, somebody who don't need no man, you really need to be able to hold your own. And not crumble at the first sign of resistance or if she gives you a look or something like that you need to be able to handle yourself so first what does a strong independent woman want in a man independent women don't feel like they need a man but if they get a man it's because they bring some kind of value to her life and that should be really the same for you too you shouldn't need a woman if you add anybody to your life it should be somebody who adds value to your life and doesn't bring you down so we'll call that number one number two is you need to have confidence confidence is key for attracting any kind of woman whether it's strong independent or more shy and number three you can't be needy i think i've already cover this in number one basically you need to be a strong independent man right don't be a needy guy who's looking for a mother usually women like this want a guy who has his own hobbies and has his own interests and has his own friends he can do his own thing right he's not desperate for somebody and forget women if you really want to have a good life all of this stuff comes back to having the best lifestyle possible too and having the strongest you possible strongest personality and that's going to really breed a lot more happiness for you so if you don't already have those qualities what should you do which brings us to the next part how to build your confidence to attract a strong independent woman. Number one is practice being assertive, right? Anytime you get a chance to speak your mind and you get this inclination not to do it or you have this anxiety because you don't want to say anything, you don't want to push anybody's buttons or cause any friction, you need to stand up for yourself instead and actually express what you want. Number two, learn to love your alone time. Right? It's not really a positive quality if you have to be around other people to feel happy. It's nice to be by yourself. This is something personally I enjoy. I enjoy going on trips by myself, uh, out into the woods, camping, lots of different things are really Really enjoyable by myself and it doesn't mean you have to do everything by yourself but she, you should be comfortable with yourself and with your alone time you can build this in small increments go somewhere by yourself go to a park or something read a book it doesn't really matter what you do do what you enjoy but try doing it alone for a, for a change if you're one of those people who has to be around other people enjoy yourself because this is really one of the keys to being independent number three get fit everybody likes a fit body right it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman being fitter will also make you more confident and it's also more attractive to other people number four become an expert or learn a skill learn a skill in an area of personal interest it doesn't matter really what it is but learn some kind of skill especially if it's going to give you some kind of confidence and the more practical a skill is the better but it doesn't necessarily have to be practical It'll be just something for fun number five have a big goal work on something that's really huge something that's going to take possibly years to get to it doesn't have to take years but something that you have to put a lot of effort into and takes consistency something that's going to have a big payoff in the end as well and will probably give you a lot of skills and confidence as you try to get that thing Number six, work on your finances. It's really hard to be really confident if your financial life is in shambles. If you're always under stress and pressure to pay the bills or pay your rent or, or pay anything, or you feel limited, you can't really do anything. You can't go on trips. You can't do, go on road trips or anything. You can't do fun things with friends. It's not really something that's gave you a lot of confidence. But one of the th big things with money is really about flexibility and health. You'll give yourself a lifestyle that's more healthy uh, mentally as well as physically. And I remember when I didn't have any money at all, it sucked when I went out with friends because I would always be the one who didn't get anything at the restaurant or, or whatever and i didn't want to be sponging off my buddies right so I'll always be like no i'm okay i don't need anything no you know i'm, I'm not going to pitch in for this thing I, that's okay i'm not, not, not hungry or whatever or it might have one beer and then you know that kind of ended there because i didn't have any money for anything and that always felt bad that always kind of chipped away at my my self-esteem or my confidence back then so it's not about being rich it's just about having financial stability 
and also about having some flexibility and some options in your life so you can do things. Number seven, one of the most important ones for attracting women is learning how to approach women. This will give you heaps of confidence for communicating with women and teach you how to attract them, right? Because it can be a big mystery for a lot of guys when they don't have much experience with women. They get swayed by movies and TV shows and friends or family giving them the wrong impression about what attracts women, including women's opinions, which are usually actually really bad because they don't actually know what they're attracted to. They just, you know, on paper, they have their list of their ideas of what they like in a man and what's attractive, uh, but most women aren't that aware. Some are, of course, but most women give really bad advice on attracting women. So you have to learn for yourself by actually attracting women, by going and talking to them. And as I mentioned, the link in the description will teach you exactly how to approach women so you can learn the skill and build that confidence. Number eight, practice your conversations. This might actually be before number seven. Uh, if you start practicing your conversations, it could be a good baby step just by talking to the barista, talking to a cashier, talking to the waitress, right? Start learning about other people. Don't just have the standard, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, kind of conversation. You want to actually learn about people. So you got to start figuring out how to do that. You know, what kind of questions you can ask. You're going to uh, get other people to open up and how to ask it too, because this is a really big part of communication is how you say things. It's not just the words you say. Have any questions? Leave them in the comment section below. Now until next time, conquer and win. Thank you.